uh, this is CS 2012 with a uh, true row ace. Is that what you are? Yes. So what is this? Uh, this is an aerial photo ship that's capable of taking uh, video from the sky up to 200, square, 200 feet in the air. Uh, here's an example of what this uh, drone is capable of uh, doing. It's, it can carry a Canon T3i up to 2 pounds of capacity. We have also a larger air aircraft with 8 propellers that can carry uh, 5 to 6 pounds, such as the uh, 5D uh, Mark II. 5D Mark II, Here's, there you have a demo with, uh, what is this, uh, this is This is a prototype. This is a prototype of a uh, Turbo uh, 880 that's capable of carrying the There's a camera. full frame side, full frame camera. Put the camera there, it, it remotely push the button and that's all? That's all? Just pushing the button or how do you do it? Uh, you, you can either hook up to a lane and control it remotely or you can set it up, uh, control it from your uh, transmitters. Uh, here's an example of what uh, you're capable of uh, handling. So is uh, it, it has auto camera stabilizers, so in other words, uh, it's able to automatically lock into the target no matter how the plot moves around in the sky. Nice. So it uses the, the building gyro in the uh, flight controller that automatically locks in to nice. the subject. Uh, cool. This is a video footage which I did uh, a couple of days ago uh, of uh, Honda Center is approximately 50 to 70 feet up in the air. Now this kind of footage is not capable, no, no one's capable of doing this footage until these uh, kind of uh, equipment becomes available. Normally it would require a license to do this on a helicopter or a 100 square feet uh, crane. Okay. So it's actually this video. Is, uh, it's actually you better replace uh, a lot of these cranes being used in the uh, production. Cool. So uh, this is actually working. It's not just uh, an idea. It works. It is, yes, we're delivering this uh, this quad. It's available at uh, TurboAce.com. How much does it cost? Uh, without the radio, retail is at seven seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's Which it. the radio is uh, about a thousand dollars. Where's the radio? The radio is a typical remote control, such as the Spectrum DX7, or any of those remote control that you'll be able to use, which you use on the uh, RC remote control helicopters. Same same remote. So if you have a remote, you don't need to purchase one. How many did you make so far? Uh, we have shipped uh, a few hundred of these yeah. in the last uh, couple of months. And where are you based? We're based in Orange, California. Our factory is located in Shenzhen, China. Nice. So that's cool. How long is the battery? The battery lasts uh, with a 5300 milliamp battery. It lasts about 30 minutes of flight time. And this particular model comes also, I want to mention it, uh, with GPS which means uh, you're able to lock in to a coordinate, send the quad up in the air, lock in the position, so you'll be able to focus on the video and filming part uh, instead of worry about flying the quad. Uh, and then you hit a button the, uh, on the radio, you'll be able to tell it to come home. So it does not, it does not re uh, need a lot of uh, skills to fly this. Uh, we do have a training package that that is available, which comes with a simulator. If you're not if you're not familiar with flying a helicopter of this kind, uh, also I want to mention the capacity on this is one of the most heavy-duty capacity quadrocopter out there. It's capable of carrying, like I said, two pounds a Canon T3i, which is very rarely seen for this size of a. Do you need to quad. calibrate it, or is it managed? Uh, this comes completely calibrated. If you buy it with a radio, the, uh, the transmitter is calibrated. You don't have to do anything. Uh, I have a video, the video footage we show you on the Honda Center. That is out of the box. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is put the propellers on and you're on the go. Right, you, can, you don't have to do much. Most of the quads out there you purchase, you have to balance the motor and then you have to calibrate your transmitter 
you have to balance the propellers before you're able to get a stabilized image.